Uh, been a rough couple days. Been out on the property. <coughs> Getting stuff done, sorry. <coughs> Getting stuff done. Uh, trying to get uh, the house installed. Check the video out. Must be a video somewhere. Anyway, um, I'll see if I can figure out how to put one in. But uh, <coughs> the uh, today's video on EDC stuff is Gerber. Um, and not the baby food. Gerber knives. Gerber gear as they're calling themselves now. They're rebranded. So, uh, here you go. It's the first one. Burnt orange, they call it. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. And then, uh, this one is called Trade, Armbar Trade. The other one was called Armbar Scout. This is this one. The orange one is a Scout. And the silver one is called the Armbar Trade by Gerber. I thought there was just one. Turns out there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Different things, and they have different configurations. But they have about four tools, or three tools, plus a knife, and then whatever that little deal is. Probably a can opener, striking tool on top. Bang bang, but uh, they're little. These little tools. I got this one on sale. Uh, cost me thirty dollars, and then this one uh, I got from Gerber with the discount for thirty-two dollars. So they're fairly cheap. Um, if you just want to chuck one in a bag, uh, but they have different configurations. So let's let's look over that. And one of these days, I'll get my other cameras out and set up. But uh, for now, we have to do it this way. So, uh, this is the armbar trade, and the armbar trade has the knife. Let me see what kind of knife it is, what kind of blade it is. Um, looks nice. It's a nice, good cutting blade. It's not a drop point. Oh, yeah, this is considered a bottle opener. A little piece on the bottom. Plain edge. It's got a few tools. Where's the specs? It doesn't tell you anything. It's uh, 0.7 inches wide. The length is 6.5 inches. And the weight is 3 point something. 3.1 ounces. Uh, it has a pry bar. Pry bar. Let's look to see what that pry bar is. Uh, a bottle opener. Hammer. Hammer. I guess that's the hammer. An awl. This one has an awl. Um, a saw. So both of the ones I have have saws, and it's a pretty hefty saw, um, and it's sharp as Jesus. Um, it's all metal, 100% metal, as you would expect from Gerber. Um, does not say what the blade is made out of. So don't know. Don't know the material of the blade. I'm assuming it's fairly decent. It is Gerber, by the way. But um, and Gerber doesn't make great stuff. That you know, they were a early comp uh, competitor with with um, Leatherman. But uh, their first, their first, when I was a victim of their first uh, edition, had no lock on it. And boy, we had um, I knew many people who cut themselves because the blade or the or the awl or the prying tool slipped and fell back in and cut their hand. So uh, I stopped buying um, those ones for a very long time. I still have a couple, but I tend not to use them because they're dangerous, in my opinion. Um, they've gotten better, obviously, but this one comes with a bit driver for standard size quarter inch bits, which is nice. Um, so, uh, it does come does have one in it, but you can use any type of bit that's not too long. Um, and then uh, the, these don't lock out again with the locking thing, um, but uh, it does allow you to use. But it, it does not lock, but the blade does, so that's good. Um, got a clip. Again, it's metal. Um, it's a good little solid piece. The burnt orange version. 
is um, called the Scout, the, the Armbar Scout. Uh, it has, and I find this one a little more useful um, for me. The standard knife, it's in black. Uh, doesn't it? And uh, it does lock. It's a little tight, and it probably needs to be worked. Which not sure how. And it's in there. You're not getting it back out. Once it's in place, you're not getting it back out. Um, so no, not a lot of maintenance to be done there. But this one has the saw as well. Um, it has a can opener. Get that out. Can opener and a bottle opener. Obligatory bottle opener. Um, and this one has a pair of scissors. And for the life of me, at first, I could not figure out how to get those scissors open. Uh, but it flips around behind. And it does work. Um, I haven't tried cutting anything with it. No, I'm not going to cut anything. But, uh... It does work. It does feel solid. There's not a lot of give to it, so that's good to know. Um, well, let's use this. Yeah, works. Okay. Uh, but then to put it back, you've got to fold the blade upon itself and fold it back. That took me a minute to figure out <laughs> how that happens. Um, and then it's got this little pry bar, bottle opener, hammer thing down here um, anyway that's today's uh, EDC item is the Gerber armbar in these two configurations and there are six others uh, today's crapola review is Timu from Timu all the way from China this little 20 in 1 pocket tool uh, Two, at $2.85, um, it's got uh, a ruler. Uh, it's got a carbiner. A carbiner. You can put it on a keychain or something. Um, it's got four little bits on this little twisty thing. Um, it's got a blade for cutting stuff. Uh, it's got some wrench pieces. Uh, a pry, pry bar. Um, a file. Um, so, I mean, I guess they're counting each individual one as a box opener. Box opener closed. I'm not sure. I guess this one's a box opener? That can't be a box opener because it's hidden. Um... I mean, the blade is technically replaceable. Um, not sure where you'd get one. It says box opener. Wire strip, I get, right? The wire stripper. Um, read that. But um, it says uh, rotate. Got that many nails. Medium, small. Wire strip. Box open. Yeah, I'm not seeing that one. So, uh, it's got a lot of these little words on it, but, uh, box open. Open box closed. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So, uh, not sure how to get that. Anyway, two dollars and eighty-five cents on Timu. Stocking stuffers, maybe? I don't know. Somebody you don't like. <laughs> so anyway, I buy this crap so you don't have to. Will I ever use it? Absolutely not. Probably. Um, I'll probably stick it on come some keychain uh, and forget about it. And the first time I use it, it breaks. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway. Uh, I'm not saying don't buy one. Uh, it, it seems pretty solid. Um, 
but uh, I'm not sure what the usefulness of it would be. Um, so you're on your own for this one. Thanks a lot for. See you next time.